We are live, <laughs> and today <laughs> we are barely. We are live. we are barely live. Um, I'll show you mine in a minute. But today we I have to get rid of this. I don't know how. To, okay. <laughs> I did this before. Okay, today what we're going to be doing is using the idea of paper shares. Our paper shares have gone live, but just to show, but you can do this with any papers to take assorted papers, cardstock, and we're going to make some really fun cards. So that's what we're going to get to in a bit. But first, of course, we got mail. We got mail. And I, I had this great idea that I was going to do these things like this, you know, that you could cut along with me because I put up that you could just grab some four by six pattern papers, some card bases, and you can create with me. But I didn't get them all done. You know, sometimes ideas just come a little too late and the clock is right there. So we will go ahead as and you, do what we do best, punt. <laughs> as you know, I like to make bookmarks. I like to take care and scraps and I like to do things with them. Oh, yes. I, I took, I think it's a Stampin' Up bag, right? Yeah, it was from the old days. It pours down, and uh, the gear dies. I are, put the look at gear dies. Isn't that cool? <laughs> he and just goes through all my stuff and just plays with it. Isn't that great? There's actually Starbucks decaf coffee in there. That's wonderful. Now let's see how this looks here. If we can make sense. Oh, not too bad, Tim, for <laughs> pulling this out at the last minute. Good. We have people on. You know, the funniest thing is now we go live on both Facebook and you and YouTube and. You can't even be a minute late or you don't get on YouTube. So I said, so it suddenly becomes stressful. You know, in the old days, Tim, in the good old days, you yeah, know? Yeah, good old days. <laughs> if we ran a couple minutes late, it just, you know, we, we would just, <laughs> anyway, so that's our thing. So wonderful. Oh, good. So people are on there. Uh, yeah, it's like show and tell. To, to, isn't it like showing it projects? And now you get to show others. So he just wanted to get in on this a little bit too. Cindy Cunningham. Okay. <laughs> This is beautiful. Just happy mail from Cindy. Oh, how fun is that from California? Beautiful. Well, do you guys like it better if we put it on white? We've been told that, so I'm trying to put it back on the white here and see if that helps. Oh, I love that. That's with the butterfly dye. And look how she put one stamped in black on colored cardstock and left the red, the rest a different color on white cardstock. So it's really a fun contrast. There. Beautiful card. There. Uh, Tim, I just have envelopes here with nothing in them. What? Oh, my goodness. Maybe there are some um, else. Okay, so I don't know. Tim's in charge of the mail here. I'm going to come to this. This is Noelle Pemberton from Washington. Washington, Washington. Oh, Tim, you have to show these. Okay. Oh, Tim. Oh, this is fun. That is a card for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Tim. <laughs> Happy birthday. Tim. Oh, we have the rooster, but it is upside down. So I guess we'll live with that upside down today since How did we're so it late. Normal. I know it looked right at the beginning, but it's not right now. Did it just flip on us? Or is that um okay? <laughs> but, but we'll live with we'll live with it. Don't be in a rush. I think that's it. Kind of like we're planning ahead or long. I don't know. Oh, how fun is that, Tim? When we've it got is. the seed it. right and there. It's got <laughs> it's got it, it does. It has it has chicken feed in the bottom yes and yeah. i get one so i'm going to decide that that's for you and this is for me well, how fun it's is got it? my name on oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. i think the rooster is kind oh, of obvious this. but that is hilarious oh i love it she did the inside too oh that is fun and look at the little flower <laughs> thing oh that is so fun i am known for my roosters <gasps> and i get birds cherish every moment oh, oh look what a fun thing she did oh, with the weaving what? here okay um of um, that that little braided linen. Oh, that's really fun. And all these things popped up. Who's this from? This is all from Noelle Pemberton, right? Am I, I, I well, th these, am I right? <laughs> now look. Yes. Look, okay. I think we have a hint here. Oh, because now this is, oh. that's These are from Noelle. They are. She so saved the envelope. It was in a big See, envelope and small ones. Tim does open things ahead of time. And by the way, Tim, and you got a gift. And I don't see it out here. You got a gift in the mail. You were showing me that you're all excited about. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> he said he's got to go fix us. That's what. So I don't know. Maybe Tim no, um, these are all, shouldn't. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we, we haven't shown any of these. Okay. Okay. I'll well, go get my. Okay. He's going to go get the gift while we're, while we're while we're talking about it. 
Um, okay, this one is from Karen Birch from Michigan. Oh, how pretty is this? And this is with the uh, the uh, book binding card. Isn't that fun where you just open it like that? Ooh, that's beautiful. I love that. That's so weird. And next we have, this is, oh, this is another one from Karen Birch. Oh, it's so fun. Yes. We get some multiples here. Oh, yes. Look at this one. Okay, Ooh. put it this way. Ooh, one of these flip cars, smile. The best moments in my life happen with you. Isn't that fun? That's a beautiful card. Oh, and then she put a thing on the inside. Lovely. Oh, very fun. Oh, thanks, you guys. That share is just the best, best thing. And oh, another one from Karen Birch. Oh, my goodness. She's, oh, we have four of them here. <laughs> We're not done. Karen sent us a bunch here. So Karen from Michigan. Oh, beautiful happy birthday card. Love that. Love the two layers there with the butterfly at the outside and then the inside. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And one more and a letter and I'll read that afterwards. How fun is that? And we have one more here. Oh, and that's really fun too. Love, love. I just love when people do the inside. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous. That is. Beautiful with the little strips of paper. I'm doing something similar. So it's just think of this card when I show a card today or I'm making a card today. Think how, how you can easily switch and kind of make it this layout instead. That's really fun. And then Tim has his gift from. Now, this is the, 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 the only place the name of this person was on was on the, the just wait. So, so it was only on. <laughs> okay. okay. I said, you know, I'm trying to motion to Tim that you guys are looking at a blank screen. Yes. And that's kind of like 101. You okay. don't do that, Here. Tim, when you're okay. live. Okay. So you want to show your yeah, hand wanna, instead? Okay. I want to gesture. <laughs> okay. He's going he's to do sign language. Pretend. Sorry, Janet. He doesn't know any, but he'll pretend. Ann Ripley from Georgia. It is Ann. Okay. Yes. Because all of <laughs> this is weird. All of the, the first part was left off. So I wasn't sure if it was Ann or... Oh, okay. I but yes. look at this. A tile. And is that a great? Tile. And we're assuming that Ann painted that. How cool well, is... I think so. Well, that she did it or somebody yeah. did. Yeah, I mean, no, I we're, think we're assuming she didn't say it, So I'm assuming it's definitely hand painted. And I thought, is that fun? And so Tim's a, rooster kitchen is It's a trivet growing. Whip. Look at this. It's even got the... Look at that. So, so you guys that are all contributing to his uh, his uh, rooster theme here. So yes. Said, so it's just pretty fun. So thank you. Thank you all so much. Someday it'll all be at a museum. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you. And the host code, and, and you've seen before what the card kit is this month. I don't have any out here at the moment, but it is from Rebecca Sadowski. Because Karen needs three of you to cut six inch papers. And what is great about that saying is it leads us right into paper shares. And um, paper shares have gone live. Now, paper shares do not, you don't use a host code. It's not anything like this uh, because you, it's a separate thing because things come to our house. Holly and I do all these shares together and then we we mail them out. So you don't use a host code and you don't, they don't go with the the monthly gift just to know. But we do paper shares. They just went live today, so you can start signing up. And I wanted to show you the two different ways we offer them. These are six by sixes. And each pack of paper, you get 12 sheets so that you can use. There are six different sheets, but there are 12 sides. So you can use each side because you see they're the same. So basically, you're getting double the paper. And if you can figure out how to make 24. Yeah. And this is perfect. For those of you who have lots of cardstock, and you know, and you kind of have that all anyway. For those of you who don't, I guess I have different paper, it doesn't matter. This is how we send our other option is a four by six paper share. And I'll show you how these come. I think they cost the same or right about the same because instead of getting um, the six by six, number one, instead of that, you're getting four by sixes. And you're getting only six sheets. So you have to decide. You just get one of each. You have to decide. But what you get in addition are six 
different colored card bases. So this is perfect for those of you who don't, like for new people, or if you don't like to get all kinds of colors um, and you wanna have a variety of colors, cause look how fun this is. I'm gonna take my six pieces, I'm gonna lay them out. And then I'm just going to play around and decide which ones I want to layer them on. That just isn't that cool. So you just get this fun variety. Can you so, get color blind, blind into it? Do they all fit? You could because they all go together, they Tim. Go together. So if you if you limit yourself to this. Yes. And I know I've had people say that even people that stamp a lot, they say, oh, they have loved getting this way because they're more likely to use them. They pull them out and use them. This is what we're doing today with two different packs. I'm actually going to just do it with one pack. So I'll show you here first the cards. This is new Beauty of the Earth paper and it is gorgeous and I'm going to show you the six cards that we made out of it and then I'm going to take a different one I'm going to actually make the cards but keep in mind these are all the same pattern so it's all the same you could so you could take all the paper you still have from today's thing uh, and of course I put up I'll be putting up a post hopefully it'll be this evening and then all the measurements everything will be there so you know I explain as much as we go along but just know everything will be there in color um, so I just wanted to point out a few and then we do the insides too. But so this is one of the cards. And huh, I don't seem to have all the cards here. This is one of the cards. And look at this is all from these same. This is a Z fold. I had it closed for a picture. This is another one. Yeah, I'd say I'm I'm a, a little um messy table here I'll see if we can find everything so here's another one and let me find the others oh yeah they are here okay here is another one see how this kind opens this is just one of my favorite things and you see the other side on the inside and let's see which one i was missing i'm not sure which one i was missing probably this one but how cool is this i'll show this again at the end because i'm going to show side by wanna, side you want to see two them. different if you want to read them and not have your trees upside down. So then, then we're all good. So what we're going to do is I just showed the six by sixes. Of course, in this, this is hand penned paper, and I love this paper. Love, love, love. So is we're going to play worth, with this. Is it worth trying to flip it around? Or should you do it no, I just have to be reminded. You just key okay. me, okay. cue me in because it takes okay. us. We make everyone seasick if we turn it around. So yeah. Um, it, it is our fault. You guys, you know, some days just go like that. I just, you know, it just is. Uh, so this is what you get in the pack, but I added a couple of strips of your paper that we were going to need. So now you can cut along with me. And I'm going to show you the first card we're going to make. And so here's what I mean. If you bring your paper out, you can do the very same thing. I'm going to show you my great, what my great idea was. Here's my great idea. Cut the other ones down. Yeah, go cut the other ones down. Here's my great idea because I thought this is really helpful because now you can see exactly how I'm cutting it down and you don't have to wait for my blog post to go up. Just know this will all be in my blog post. So we're doing the best we can. But what's really cool about this, this is my paper. And I am going to cut it like this. I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to cut it at three inches. And of course, I do that. I will grab the wrong one every time. That one needs a new blade in it. So we'll grab this one. You can never have too many cutters around. And you guys know I only use these cutters when I go live because I like more of a chop and dice. Okay, so I have this one by six, which, by the way, I'm just going to cut apart and put them on the inside. So any of the odds and ends left over are ideal for trim. This is the main part we're using. I'm going to take this part. And I'm going to cut that in half so I have two three-inch squares. So now I'd like to know who's making some cards along with me. So this is what I'm put on this. Now I need to put this on. This is a three by three. As you can see, I'm just going to put it on right here. And so this is on a three and a quarter. I'm going to go three and a quarter bigger. And I believe this is... I better... Uh, four and a half, yes. Okay, 
So I will go ahead and put that on. Oh, it's snowing in Ohio. Oh my goodness. We finally, oh, we have just a gorgeous day. So I can't wait to get out today. Okay. So I'm just going to put this on. And what I chose to do for decorating these, I'm just going to show you what I did because I do, did this ahead of time and I'm actually not going to even stamp while I'm on here. We'll just put them together. I decided to accent these with some of the butterfly dies. So I have some assorted butterfly dies and then I have some assorted shapes with words. I do a lot of birthday cards just because it just seems like that's the most common. And then I also use these silver and clear epoxy on the clear ones. You really can't see it. The silver show up, but they all have one on, but they're just pretty fun accents. So these are just my finishing pieces. You could pick whatever you wanted to do. The stamp set that comes with this is gorgeous. It would be perfect for that. Okay. These. So now I'm going to take this. And here is my card. Now, how easy is that? Now, notice with this, I'm going to have enough left to make a second card. I'm going to put my little accent up there. I'm going to use half of the strip on the inside, and I'm going to add my words. So super, super simple. And then if I want... Even Tim could do it, <laughs> but I'm not. I just want to show if you want to choose. I'm doing these very, very basic because then you don't need anything added to this except some basic white cardstock. Like I'm adding a couple of those pieces. If you want to go the extra bit, you just are going to go a quarter inch longer and you can see what a difference that makes. So this one was three and a quarter by four and a half. So then this one would be three and a half by four and three quarters. But I think they are both just beautiful cards. Okay. So that's card number one. We'll quickly look at them again at the end because we'll compare them to the Beauty of the Earth, because I love to show how taking the same idea just, you know, works on anything. Okay, so I'm going to give you those. And I didn't get these done on everything. Let me find my actual card here. I didn't, okay, so I'm just going to show you the ones I did get done. Okay, so this one. Hmm, this one I didn't get done, but that's good. It's What's good about it is an easy one. Okay, so here's my four by six. And how I'm going to cut it is, I'm going to cut it at five and a half. Here, I'll show you the card. That'll be more helpful. This is the card we're making. A pretty, just pretty and simple. And just notice I just have these butterflies and there you'll see the silver and added some words. So it's just a really easy way to do this. And you don't need new papers. I'm doing this to get us all excited because I love working with new papers, of course. But all of your papers, anything you own, doesn't matter. Anything is going to look good with these. I also have another older video that I'm going to attach at the end. I will put a link to it that shows some other great ways of using your 4 by 6 So, you know, we, we like ideas, right? So, so I'm just going to trim this to five and a half because that's how long my card is. So this is how I'm thinking it through. And then this, I'm going to cut off at three inches. Okay. And I'm going to set this aside actually for another card. So this is the only piece I'm using out of this. And this is three inches by five and a half. And I'm going to layer that on a white piece of cardstock that is three and a half. So I've gone a half inch bigger and it's the same five and a half. Oh, Tim's getting off easy today. I am. It is so oh, nice. he's just realizing that. I thought, you know, it all just depends on what we're doing. But how cool is that? Oh, some of these, see, they aren't even scored. But that is going to make this card. And I actually use different colors here, but it doesn't matter. It's, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's the next one. Okay, and so we're going to move that one along. And then next one, this is a card that I have done so many times also it's one of my favorite ways so this is my four by six i'm going to cut it off at five and a quarter that is it i have this just this little piece here so here is my my sheet 
So we got four by five and a quarter and then four by half. Okay, now on this one, I have my card, it's folded in half. I am going to take off. You need a bone folder? Mm, sure, because you know you know he wants to go get me one. So yes, I need, I need a bone folder. I'm gonna cut off one inch. I'm gonna put this at the one inch line. I'm gonna cut this off at one inch and then that I can use for something else. And of course, I could find other things within this to use because all these colors go together. Okay. Now I'm going to put this right here. So you're still playing upside down? Oh, oh, no, but I'll go upside down. Let's do it this way, Tim. <laughs> Tim works upside down better than I do. But you see, I'm going to lay that down. I put adhesive here. I'm going to close this up. It's much easier. Look how cool that is. Now you're going to see the other side when you open it. This is just to put inside. So this is just a piece to put inside. And I just would like to make sure it's, I got to I gotta look at this directly to just see. Um, my piece is cut a little big there, I, I do believe. So it might show. I might have to trim it a little. No, I did okay. After you glue it down, you want to okay. trim it? Well, I usually do this piece a quarter inch smaller just so I don't have to worry about it peeking out at the end. Does that make sense? Yes. Room for air. I build, I like to build in room for yes. air. Yes. <laughs> do any of you others need to do that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, remember that last piece that I had left aside from the other? It's one inches wide. It's a little bit too big for this. I'm going to cut it down, and this is what I'm going to put here. So I thought, how cool is that? Now, you guys know that if you get the Six by six papers, you could use these same ideas. Just trim off two inches and you have four by six and two inch strips are used in all kinds of things. I keep a container full of my two inch strips. So, so know that these ideas will be just as useful for you. But now I think, now how cool is, oh, I forgot to cut it off. So I'm gonna leave it not cut off. And we're gonna go for a different look on this one. I'm gonna put it down. And then I'm just going to trim off the end. And that will that will be fine. We're adaptable. We're crafters. But how cool is that? Now I'm going to find my, so it's my settled, finished card. That color is right there. Yes. But it really is not. The because all these dominant. papers, right, and all these papers, that's why I wanted the back side of or, or any strip because yeah. I took this whole see the piece I cut off isn't big yeah. enough the other option I could do I could put this on yeah. and then put three gems or something else here but this just wasn't the size I wanted I like the way you did it so that's why I just took the leftover piece from the last card <laughs> to get my strip from there and then you know just add the words and the butterfly and I think that is just a beautiful card and one gem these all have one gem, so it's really an easy one to count. So, and this is one of my favorite ways for making quick cards. I use these a lot. Okay, I want the finished one. Okay, I'm putting the finished ones right here. Isn't this fun? But I thought, and look how quickly this is. I mean, it is just really. So here's going to be my next one. And I'll show you the card. So here's what we're going to cut. And my card is a Z fold. And, and again, I think it is just beautiful. You don't have to ignore this. Sometimes I put a glue dot on to take a picture of it closed. Now I'm going to have to replace this because I pulled it too hard. You know what I do when I want them just to be temporary? I take a glue dot and I roll it a while in my fingers because I guess just that oil makes it pretty non-sticky. But I was in a hurry. That's what happens when life's in a hurry. But again, I think that's just beautiful. And I think it's really fun that if you're noticing all these variety of colors and they're all from in here, so each card is accenting a different color which is very fun. And I love it. I see you guys are chatting with each other too. I love that too. So it's great. But you know, these all come under quick and easy cards, simple layouts, uh, just um, things that I love to do. So on this one, we're going to want five and a quarter as the length. So I start with that first. And that'll just be a little leftover piece for whatever. And now what I chose here, when we're doing a Z fold, we're folding this in half and then half again. So this folded in half, 
becomes two and one eighth. That's why we're doing an eighth here. That is not half. Half of this. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, because see, Tim? Ooh, we're yeah. talking about the math. So really, optical, illusion. optical illusion, isn't that interesting? Yeah, it really and is. then that part's full now. You could make adaptations on here. Any card is open to adaptations, but just to keep things simple, we're doing half and half. And that's how we're left with two and one eighth. And that's why I put on here one and seven eighths, but just a little bit under two. Because two would be putting this one exactly in half. So then here is what I did. So put that under two. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, here, let me look. I will. I will do this. Here is my card to make it a Z fold. So here it is. It's my card fold in half. So to make it a Z fold, I'm going to take half of that. So that's going to be two and an eighth right there. And then that is what folds it, which is pretty fun. And so now I've made this just a little bit narrower so it looks good on here. Okay. And then for the inside, my inside piece is always just a quarter. It's going to be a quarter inch smaller. So it is four by five and a quarter. And you'll notice this is going to go here. Now, if this, oh, oh, I could do that too and have them be the same, but I'm going to flip and show the other side. This is how much room I'm going to have left to write on. But just be aware, I could trim more of this off because this goes over. So you can adjust that. But this is basically the, the look we're going for. Isn't that fun? And it again is so easy. Jenna said she loves simple. Oh, I do too. I love that you can make a variety of things. Oh, and people are talking about our fun global community. We love that we have people on from Europe and all over. So always, always tell us. And even and the number of states we get, I always think that's really fun. So and since, this. Since Karen and I are from the same hometown, we need diversity. There we go. Yes, we love diversity in our life. That is true. Oh, okay, so here I've just added again words and then the butterfly. And I just think that makes a really lovely card. Now, somebody's saying they love this. This is the, ooh, what is it? Heather Highland? You know, you could use your favorite colors on several of these cards. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when we put together a kit like this, we do a variety just so you can see how different ones interplay. But I agree. If I'm going to sit and make more, then I'll pick my favorite colors and make a bunch more. It's nice paper. Um, but I oh, I just love this paper. And then the next one is going to be this one. This is the one that I mentioned when we were looking at cards. Someone had a three-strip card. Here's my three-strip card. And look at how different and yet similar they are. I just love one idea can do so many different things. Oh, this is so fun. People are saying where they're from. Canadians in the house, Nova Scotia. Lots of people in snowy Ohio. Oh, and you can keep your snow. I hope we're done. We had a touch of that this week. And today it's glorious. So we're hoping this sticks around. Okay, so this is our next one. So for cutting this one, put that right there. And again, I'm going to cut it four inches down. So I'm going to do that first. And you will end up when you when you do these little layouts, like this can go in the inside or one of these can. Because then I, now I have my piece that is four by four, and I'm going to cut it into four one-inch strips. So I'm just going to keep going along here. That's three inches and two inches and one inch. Do you notice how this is a little bit like when we do one sheet wonders and maximize our paper? Because I love doing those too. Um, because when I do like double one sheet wonders, I often do them like four inch strips, but I just love this idea. And I actually love how you can lay out a set of cards that are made from the same paper, but they all look difference. You could do that, or you can just pick some of your favorites. Go to your scrap box and see what you have. That's four by 12. And that makes it fun. So now these are going to go on. I'm going to use three of them. So I have all this left over to put on the inside or other things. And then I put these on and th this, I can connect these. Yeah, those are connected. You see how it flows from one to the next. 
So these are three one inch strips. This is three and a half. It's just a little more. So we have a little leeway here. This does not And this is four this and a quarter. No, they connect this way. What doesn't connect, Tim? Tim's having problems today. What doesn't oh, connect? One, that leaf. None of it, those connect. Yes, they do. Do you see how they do connect? They? And this is what's really cool about this paper. Man. I'm glad you're saying that because notice how this Man. paper looks watercolored. Well, I think the original is. But do you see how some of it is just watercolored? Yep. Some of it has black stamps. Yep. And they don't. It's like messy watercoloring, which is the coolest thing. But a lot of us have trouble thinking that that's okay. We think we need to stay in the lines. And this paper is just stunning because it just shows. I just, I love this paper. I think it is just really yeah. beautiful. Yes, the memories, there's a memories and more pack that you can get with this set too. And I'll be showing that before very long because that is another way to make just gorgeous cards. And all these things mix and match. I just think it is so fun. My biggest thing, well, you know, we love community and sharing things, but you know, I, I also love quick and easy and just getting people using their stuff. So I think when it comes to even choosing what you want to buy. So you're doing the outsides first. Yes. Then I do the outsides first, but now this no, one looks, no, this right. one looks upside, but it looks upside down. So. No, no. That's what I was complaining about. <laughs> no, no, this is right. This is, no, this is right. It was upside down. I moved it upside down. <laughs> I do the outside first. That's one of the reasons why I like quick and easy because I like to get a bunch of stuff done. I like putsy sometimes, but in general, I love to have a bunch of ideas to sit down, make some gorgeous cards. That's why she likes me so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, ready for gifts. So look at that. So layered on I that. So again, it. these are one inch by four inch strips, and they're layered on a three and a half by four and a quarter inch piece of white. And then that just goes on your base card. And again, I just added words. And a butterfly. So what do you want to do with these? You don't need to. Oh, I'm going to, I'll use one of these in the inside. Let's see if I did an inside here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I use this piece, the small piece on the inside. And then I still have this left for another card. So I just, you know, have my little scrap box for when you need little doodads. And then, oh, and then the last one. But then remember, we're going to walk through, we're going to compare these to the other designer series paper. And you're probably, I've already guessed, the challenge for the back porch stampers, we have a challenge there for people to post their cards. And because it is all about sharing and commenting on what other people are doing. And then what is just so fun about this is you get to see everybody's ideas. So if you put it in the comment, if you come over there, it's to use any one of these six layouts. Some of you might even be ambitious and want to do a whole set of six like I've done and put them all in a picture so we can see them lined up. You know, that's what I'm going to put in my blog post because we love seeing that. But it can be just one of these. We, we keep things really simple. So here, oh, here's my last one. And I just dropped that. And look at how fun this is. We have a whole different color, you know, <laughs> in with this because, you know, we have all these pastels and then we've got the cinnamon. Uh, and I love that. So what I chose to do for this card since I did decide, this was my last card, and I decided we could use white because I was going to get two, two cards out of this anyway. Just like that first one, we got two cards. This one's going to give you two cards, too. Now this is an interesting This cut. is, yes, because this is the cut. And so to make this card, I have my four by six. And I'm going to bring it in here, and I can I can angle this wherever I want it to be. So I'm going to put mine right here. And notice, uh, oh, this one I forgot. I made a couple of these. I I'm going to put on the inside these ends. Okay. I'm just going to take this over and we're going to do three quarters of an inch strips. So notice I'm lining up the angled part. Okay. And I'll keep going through and I will angle another one. I'm just going to angle one more here. But just know that I can get three more of these on here. So then I took my base card and I'm going to use these because I'm using white base cards now. So I'm going to cut these at four. I'm go quarter inch smaller. Notice I just folded that. Let's see if I can go through two here. Go through that and then. I'm going to do four 
by five and a quarter. So I'm trimming off that quarter inch. Because now I will be able to make two of these. So I'll put this on my card. And then I'm just going to take three of these. And again, I will line them up if I don't have them right. Uh, you'll at least know. Okay, that's working. Do you see I'm just going to line these up? So we're not going to... Oh, I think this one went here. Down. Oh, sure. No, I'll, I'll take these down. We'll, we'll go that far. I'm getting that far. And you notice this one? I have a little bit of the edge there. doesn't matter at all. I'm going to line that one up first. All right. And that's going to go at the bottom. I think it just adds. So it kind of just, it doesn't matter. See, I'm going to, and that's going to give me the slope. If I don't do them right, I would, you know, I would just trim them a little at the end of anything if I... Okay, I'm going to add that one. And I'm going to add this one. So how cool is that? Mm. And then I'm going to use this end, because I'm going to have two ends, one from the top and one from the bottom. I'm going to put them inside. So it might go like right there. And it's a white card, so I don't need another backing. And that will be my little inside piece. Can you put something up here to make, make it not so much brown? If that's brown. Well, it is, but see, I, oh, I wanted here, this um, look. Oh, yes, yes. This is my base card, and yes. then this becomes my accent up yes. here. So, like, so like this it, is the finished card. It will be taken up. Yeah. So you'd make two of these if you have go white. You have two of these built right into the kit, and then there's one more you have enough, but you'd have to furnish your own paper. But anyway, I think those are really six um, fun paper paper idea cards. And so now what we're gonna do. Oh. So I'm just going to compare them again with, let's look at each of them. Okay. When I did the Beauty of the Earth, and I love that paper too, I thought we'd look at these side by side. Of course, I now I have to find the right. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here's my Beauty of the Earth. What I chose for accents on this one, I just chose the tree that comes in that bunch thing. And then again, just words. And then I'm using other little gems on this. They are these little genial gems. So I just, those are just my little accent piece. But isn't that fun? It is. To have two different colors like that. So of course I would get two of this out of one, two. So that was that card. Is that brown or is it? It's cinnamon or? cider. It's kind of like a teddy bear brown. It, I really like, I like it. It's very cool. different and it's a color we hadn't had for quite a while. Okay, then we're looking at the three strips and I think I think those are just so are just beautiful both of them it's so different and let's see I did one of these this one you can also go quarter inch bigger and you see I added another layer there so if you like that you could do the same here to do that but you know if any of these you could mm -hmm. add some little extra paper to do that so this was another layout <laughs> this is just not working we have, we have to tape this okay Put that, and then our next layout. We didn't. We need an extra hour <laughs> for prep time. Oh, we need to plan early. Okay, these are these two cards. So then we'd also like to hear what are your favorite cards out of these? Okay, this one I have to carefully open. But you know, those are totally different colors. Masculine. Yes, very masculine, masculine. and they open it and. Um, it's very fun. On um, this one, I did a second one where I did layer it with another color. I don't know if it shows up a lot or not, but you could do the same with this. So just kind of pointing that out, any of these. And then you're just going to cut your pieces a quarter inch. I didn't want to do too many measurements, but you could do just a quarter inch smaller on everything. I'm and looking then you straight at it. I don't know what you're talking about. Layered it. Do you see this has green? Oh, that's, yeah. Not and obvious. green there. It's not terribly yeah. obvious. Yeah. But, you know, you know, Tim, we're crafters. We yeah. dwell in the land of possibilities. Yes. So we, we, should, we just have to think about it all. <laughs> and then, and then, oh, one of my, my five favorite card layouts. I think those are just gorgeous. And these are the ones that you open, you see the inside, the other side of the paper. I think how fun are those? <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, Judith, she likes them all. Kind of no favorites. So, are you going to show the ones we made today like this? 
Did we make one or did you? Oh, no. Well, I've, I made these today, but I'm showing these are all done the same. So okay. they can watch it. You just change the paper. And now, you see, it's up to everyone else, Tim, to use mm -hmm. different papers. And Got then it. they'll show us theirs with different papers. Got it. Does that make sense? Um, that's that's their assignment. But because I think it's just so fun, the whole sharing of all this. And then this was the simple straight line. It just doesn't get simpler than that. And we have our fun variations. And then the last one and the first one were those easy ones with just the, the three inch strips. And again, these are ones that you're going to get two out of your four by six inch strip. And here we added the butterfly this I just cut out from that leftover strip. I just cut out a couple more trees to put there. And then I did both of these with one more layer just to show the possibilities. So this has that added. And this has that added. And so then I just wanted to show one last time if we line these up. These are all out of one four by six pack of paper. I'm missing, oh, here it is, missing one. And I think what a fun variety of cards that is. So just to plug in, I will put a link to the paper shares, but also just think of doing this with your own papers, cutting them this way and just kind of a beautiful set here. So I will put the blog post up. I will put the blog post up tonight and then there will be links to all this. I will also put a link up to the other video that has yet more ideas and um, be where the paper should. Oh, and one more announcement before we go. Don't place an order in May until you read about if you decide you want to get the kit, they're adding another $30 of anything you want. So more information later. Just putting that out there as a teaser to think, you know, don't go place your order until you are fully aware of that. Next Monday, we are going to be on a two-day vacation. We won't be here for chatting over cards, but I will have a video that will go live at that same time. So if you show up, there's still going to be something to watch because <laughs> we still like to spend two that time nights, with you. Two nights, three days. Yes. So we're looking forward to that with good friends up north. So that will be fun. Thank you, everyone. The purple Z fold is coming in the blue card. Oh, I think this is so fun. We appreciate you guys so much. And those of you who share, that is the best thing you could ever do for us. And let us know what questions you have, if there's any way we can help you. If if you have requested a catalog, we're on our list, haven't gotten yours, let us know. If you need one, um, I put a link to that. And We'll send one out to you right away and have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you for spending this time with us. Goodbye.